It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. My name is D. Reader, the Million Dollar Tarot, and welcome to the Million Dollar Channel. This is the current or maybe past energies for cancer. We have goddesses available to me now. I know that ancient ancestors and spirit gods are with me. I do not walk alone. I cherish every cell in my body. A lot of my cancers are more confident right now when it comes to going after something. We have attack on others is an attack on myself. I choose to release this energy now. Okay. I'm loving this energy for cancer. I appreciate all my cancers out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. My name is D. Reader, the Million Dollar Terry. I am still doing seven for five questions for cancer. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is DeraFondell at gmail.com. We have it safe for me to ask for help. People want to support me. Cancer, you can call me right now for 30. You can email me for 10. When I see the good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. My genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose. So this is a lot of my cancer's energies right now. You can check out the description below for more. I bring peace with me wherever I go. When I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others throughout your life's purpose. Support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Trust. Trust that your feelings, dreams to guide your career path. Crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for your healing energy. So for a lot of my cancers, I'm getting you love crystals. You love gemstones. It's a big thing for you. Okay, so for some of my cancers, in order to excel in your career, some of you, this might involve going back to school. Some of you in a situation you don't want to be in. It's time to walk away. We got creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. We have healer. You have a spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Infinity abundance. You fully support it as you devote your life, yourself to your divine life's purpose. Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desire. Yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. So for a lot of my cancers, I'm getting... Yoga is your best friend right now, especially for those of you that are having a stressful time or a period where you're just really having to keep it cool and keep it cordial with, with yourself. We have expressed your love for those of you that are single. This is the energy's coming in for cancer. This could be what's coming up. Take what energy resonates and leave what does it for somebody else. For those of you that feel like the relationship is too serious, let's bring some playfulness back into it. Recapture your romance. Keep an open mind, cancer. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. This could be somebody from the past coming back with reconciliation. Someone from your past life is returning. Yeah, for a lot of my cancers, you could be hearing from somebody really soon from the past. Some of you think about this person a lot. They could have a codependency issue. This could be you. We have codependencies and addictions are affecting your love life. We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, visualizations help bring you two together. It's almost like you and somebody else, like both of you are envisioning each other right now. We have let go of control issues. This could be you, Cancer. This could be how somebody feels about you. This could be the person that you're dealing with, but somebody got some control issues here. Somebody could be 52. Yeah, a lot of my Cancers are becoming more spiritual. Somebody could be 21. Yeah, we got the beginner's mind. Yeah, some of you are going to have to go do your research or eat, possibly even go back to school when it comes to something. Yeah, we got teachability. The universe is telling you it's time to learn, expand, and grow. Somebody could be 28, dealing with someone 28. Somebody could be 50. We got movement towards adventure. So, yeah, once you actually are willing to learn cancer, things can go to another level for you. We have transmitting pain. It's almost like somebody's feeling the pain that you felt, or you could be feeling the pain somebody felt. Maybe, I don't know, we got a little bit of magic going on here. Somebody could have put a root out. Maybe you, someone that you're dealing with. Somebody got a 14-year-old. We got the drifter experiencing life as it comes. Yeah, we got a cancer. Somebody did some magic on you, or you could have did it on somebody. You know, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. We got the radical rebirth. A lot of you are rebranding yourself. Somebody can have a five-year-old. Yeah, a lot of my cancers are rebranding themselves. Somebody could be 23. We got rage. This doesn't even have to be a bad rage. Maybe you're just really eager and really determined to do something right now. Some of you are feeling some grief, some sorrow. I don't know if this is you. This could be somebody around you. Somebody could be 29. Watch the energies that's around you because cancer, you're going to be shining really soon. Somebody could be 32. Yeah, a lot of my cancers are going to be shining really soon. Some of you feel free. I'm seeing some of you felt stuck in a situation. You're feeling free with the naked card. 
Somebody could be 30. 30 is going to be the lucky number for cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we got worthiness. So for a lot of my cancers, you did realize your worthiness. You did realize what you were worth and what you bring to the table. I do appreciate every single cancer. Thank you for tuning in.